Um, but now that you're on that sure. moment sure. Um, and you're touching on really the thing, um, can you very quickly explain the difference between hypothesis and assumption? I'll give you an example. The famous Alexa that many of you probably bought this Christmas uh, is being tested by people like ourselves as to the algorithm, the, the, the suggestions algorithm. And we found out that the algorithm is actually very different, uh, basically throws different suggestions to the algorithm that actually operates on the browser if you're using a computer to search for things on Amazon. So you say, Alexa, buy me detergent, and Alexa makes a list of suggestions, most of them white label products of Amazon at the very top, whereas if you go uh, online, you actually see some other brands coming in. And when we found this out, I said to myself, under what assumption is Amazon operating? And with my team, we decided Amazon assumes that people that decide to use a voice command are lazy people, so let's just take advantage. <laughs> Why it's important to talk about algorithms and hypotheses? Because really the hypotheses are created by a human. Yes. Can you just say something about that? Because it's a huge point as to why certain algorithms have been called uh, racist or gender biased. It's because it's whomever created the hypothesis in the first place. Can you b briefly say something? So let's go back to the box. <clears throat> what data is input into the box is decided by me. Yes. What question I ask the box to ask is decided by me. What I do with the output is decided by me. And that's a very, very important thing. People talk about the you know, sometimes like statistics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, this it's truth. It's not truth, it's my opinion. It's but the problem the thing is we have in our society an assumption that mathematical statistical truth is better than instinctual truth uh, or other types of truth is, is not the case. But it kind of leads on to one of my other point is we don't have enough resource in this country to understand what's really going on across on an industry wide level. And I fear that we have companies uh, taking advantage of this because there's not enough information spread out amongst the industries to really say, hey, what information, do you, what, what inputs did you have into this in, in your algorithm? What algorithm are you using? It's, it's that level of detail and scrutiny which we actually don't have, and I think that's a, a massive, massive point.